Hey guys and welcome to Kronk and Matt making Trigger Circuitry episode 1. In this episode we're going to be going over how to make this super simple Minecraft style door in Kronker using only a few triggers and a gate. Anyway, let's see how it looks. So here we are in a Kronker game and as you can see this is what it looks like. Now, quick tip for you guys, whenever you're testing triggers you have to actually host the game, you can't just test it because triggers and gates don't work unless the game is hosted. Anyways, let's give this a shot. So anyway, if we knife this door, as you can see, it, can, it opens up like that. All lovely. But if we shoot it or anything like that, I can use my shotgun, I can use my main gun, it doesn't open. But if I just walk up to it and knife it, it opens up nicely like that. And it has that nice little opening effect. Anyways, let's see how we do this. Pretty much the way this works is when you melee this over here, it causes both of these to be destroyed. When this red one here is destroyed, it toggles this gate here, which starts hidden, on. And then... This green one waits a second, which is the same respawn time as this, and toggles this back off. So pretty much what happens is you knife this, and then this disappears, this appears, and then a second later, this disappears, and this appears. It doesn't make much sense right now, but after I've built it, you'll understand. So, how do we build it? What you're going to want at first is obviously a nice frame for your door. I've already got mine here. And after that, you're going to want to trigger. So what we're going to do is go up here to Object, Tools, and then go all the way down here until you find Trigger. Just click that, it will spawn in, and bring it to wherever your door is. You're just going to want to make this to fit the size of your little door here. Sweet. Now that we've got that fitting the shape of the door, what we're going to want to do is just change the texture to what we like. I like having mine set to floor just because it looks good. And then setting this to On Melee, Destroy Interface. And you want the ID to be 1 and the target to be 2. And you're going to want to set the health to just 10 and then set the respawn timer to 1 second. And we'll get back to the respawn timer later. After that, you're going to want to duplicate this. Just use Shift R. Now this is duplicated. And you're going to want to go down here to Technical. You're going to want to change this to on Destroy, Destroy Interface. And you're going to want to set the health to 5000 and the respawn timer to 1. Under interface, you're going to want to change the ID to 2 and the target to 1. And what this is pretty much doing is making it so that when you melee it, it will destroy both of them. But if you are to just shoot it, nothing will happen, as demonstrated before. Anyways, now it's time to get this door system in place. You're going to want to get a gate. So go over to object, tools and then go along here until you get to gate. Then bring this along, and you're going to want to match the dimensions of this to your door. So if we go over here, we can see our door is 15 by 23 by 1. 23 is the height, so we can keep that the same. Under size, you can just set that to 23. That's good. And then you're just going to want to have this one be whatever the opposite of this one is. So it'll be 1, 23, and 15. And there we go. Now, you're just going to want to line this up like that, so that this corner piece overlaps, as you can see here, if we're getting a little bit of a glitch, and you're going to want to match the texture, like so. Now, for the gate, you're going to want to set the amount to as high as it goes, and set it to cost score. And, you have to tick all of these boxes here. It has to be closable, start hidden, and have no pop-up. And you want the interface ID to be 3. Now, it's time to do the rest of the trigger circuitry that's going to make this all work in harmony. First things first, you're going to need another trigger. I usually just duplicate one of the triggers I already have nearby. Now that you've got that trigger duplicated, just make it into a nice sort of even shape like seen here, and set the colour to something that will stand out obviously. I usually set mine to something like red or green. This one is our red one, and it will match over here. First things first, set the health to as high as it goes, and set the respawn timer to 0.1. You want the event to be on destroy, and the action to be toggle interface gate. And now you want to set the ID to 2 and the target to 3. After you've done this, duplicate this across and change the colour to something different. In this case, we're going to be using green. First off, set the health to as high as it goes. Then set the timer to 1. Set the event to on respawn toggle interface gate. You want the interface ID to be 2 and the target to be 3. So here we are, I've just hosted the map and this is what it looks like. As you can see, if we knife the door, it'll open up. Knife it here, opens up again. 
and if we get out a weapon and shoot it, nothing happens. Now, you may not like how long the door stays open for, and that's okay, it can be changed, and I'll show you how. So to change how long the door stays open, all you have to do is change some timings. First of all, let's go to this part of the door, and break it up so we can see both parts clearly. Go to this part, go to respawn, and change the timer to whatever new thing you want. In this case, let's say we want the door to stay open for 3 seconds instead of 1. Do it on here, then go to this one, change it to 3, and then go to this green one here, the one that is on respawn toggle interface, and change that timer to 3 as well. This red one, you can just leave as 0.1. Now, move everything back into place, and let's see how it looks. As you can see, the door is staying open for a lot longer than before. In this case, 3 seconds rather than 1. Anyways guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. This is a new series I'm trying out, and I hope you guys like it. There's a lot more fun stuff on the way. See you next time.